Do you want an amazing GitHub profile like this? In this video, I will show you how to make a kick-ass GitHub profile. Also, we are going to talk about 5 points why this is very important for you. I will do this in less than 2 minutes so that I don't waste your time. And then I will show you hands on how to make your GitHub profile stand out. So if you're new over here and seeing me for the first time, my name is Ravish and I create content for DevOps and cloud related stuff. Please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel because this supports me in creating more content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. So point number one, first impressions matter. Your GitHub profile is often the first thing recruiters and hiring managers see. A visually appealing profile creates an immediate positive impression. Point number two, showcasing skills. A well-designed profile highlights your coding prowess, making it easier for recruiters to assess your technical abilities at a glance. Point number three, professional credibility. A polished GitHub profile signals professionalism and commitment to your craft reinforcing your credibility as a developer. Point number four, powerhouse. Your GitHub is essentially a dynamic portfolio. Aesthetic organization and visual appeal turn it into a powerful showcase of your projects and your contributions. Last but not the least, point number five, standing out in the crowd. In a sea of profiles, an eye-catching layout and use of colors can help your profile stand out, ensuring it doesn't get lost in the digital shuffle. Now let's move to the demo bar. Okay, so first of all, you have to come to your GitHub account. Okay, so if I click over here, this is my GitHub account. And you can see there are popular repositories over here. Uh, what exactly I have written for the bio part, the number of followers, the number of following I have and the other part. But this looks okay, but not very attractive. So in order to make it, make it attractive, we click on repositories, we click on new, and we give the same name, okay? So basically, if I have Logic Ops Lab, then I'll give the same name. If you have ABC, you give ABC. If you have name, uh, uh, any any name you have, if you name AJ or, or Mohan or anything, you just have to add your same, exactly same name over here, all right? So once this is done, you can see that there is a pop-up, is a special repository that you can use to add a readme.md to your GitHub profile make sure it's public and initialize the readme with to get started okay so that's what you're gonna do you can write a description if you want over here but it's it's fine the next thing is public do not make it private because everyone wants to see it what exactly we are doing and that's the main purpose of it so you make it public over here and then you initialize the repository with add a readme file okay this is very important because every change that we're gonna make we're gonna do it over here all right rest everything is perfect just click on create repository it's going to take a few seconds and it is there right now you can see hi there all right so nothing much over here so all you have to do is just click on this and you can see this is a lot of stuff over here right but right now it has been commented you can see that that's why it's not appearing so what we'll do is we'll come down hit enter and we are going to make changes over here now you can do it manually as well but we have a github profile readme generator so there is a generator i'll give this link under my video okay so you can write all of stuff over here and then we can paste it so let's do it so uh, hi i am logic ops lab by ravish that's my name okay uh, you can write a passionate front-end developer a passionate devops i can write but i'll just write i'll copy this from here okay let me go back to my profile Reducing the user stress is a pleasure and my most excellent expertise. I'll just copy this, place it over here. Perfect. You can write anything. Currently, I'm working as a DevOps and cloud consultant or an architect. You can write that. I'm looking to collaborate on. Or you can write anything over there. If there is any project, you can write something like I'm looking to collaborate on open source. If someone wants to reach you out, they can reach you out. If you have a project link, you can write over here. I'm looking for help with, uh, you can write anything if you need a video editor, if you need uh, someone who can be a part of your startup or something of your project, you can write the name over here. I'm currently learning, uh, let's say uh, AWS, 
GCP or anything. Uh, Microsoft Azure we, uh, Azure we will write Azure okay you can write something like this ask me about anything that's related to let's say DevOps and cloud DevOps and cloud ask me anything about automation software architecture or something else you can write accordingly how to reach me you can always reach out to me at logicopslab at rate gmail.com okay this is the email address all of my projects are available at uh, you can give the link over of, of this uh, repository over here you can just copy this and just paste it over here if you have a portfolio you can write that as well i write regular articles on if you have a medium or any blog link you can paste it over here i do not have i actually have it but i do not do a lot of that right now no experience about you can write the resume over here Fun fact about me, uh, I think I'm funny. This is by default. I mean, you, I do not have a fun fact already with me right now. So this is pretty much done what you can do. Uh, now let's talk about the skills. Now these are the programming languages. If you come from a dev background or tester background, anything, there are a lot of uh, technologies over here. So you can select anything. So this is C. I actually know C, but I do not do a lot of development. C++, C Sharp. I know a bit of it, but I certainly know Java. And this is JavaScript, your TypeScript, your PHP. I do not use that Perl, Ruby, Scala, Python. I do use Python. Swift, I do not do. Objective C, Clojure, Rust. I do not do that, but it's picking up. And then Haskell, CoffeeScript, Elixir, Erlang, and your Nim. I do not do all of that. In the front end development, I actually know how to write a bit of code in React. Uh, I know a bit of Angular as well. Uh, there are multiple things you can select but please do select only those which are relevant to you because you do not have to write a lot of uh, uh, let's say uh, something that you don't know and people reach out to you and they see that you have written something like this and that's become irrelevant so do not do that in the backend development i know node.js i know spring as well but i do not do a lot of this over here when there is express.js then is graphql hadoop rabbitmq i know a bit of it but i do not do a lot of stuff over here i know about nginx as well this is open RST and this would be an sts i do not do that mobile i have done development on android but um, nothing much right now this is kotlin not doing anything react native nopes and nothing over here perfect ai ml i have done this tensor flow but not enough to teach someone or read it uh done pandas as well but okay let's let's i know mongodb i know mysql i know postgresql i know a bit of redis but not uh uh, pretty much confident i know a bit of hive uh, real maria db i know but let's say let's move on and this one okay this is a sql light data virtualization i know grafana uh, this is a visualization basically uh, when you do a lot of monitoring then they can you show in your projects okay so i've done grafana and i've done kibana as well but not pretty much confident right now so i won't select it in devops uh, yes i know aws i know docker this is myspace so i know almost everything from here i know vagrant there's a project on my account azure bash kubernetes i just cleared my kubernetes certification last month circle ci is something that i have not tried my hands on and travis ci no none of this backend as a service firebase nope 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 framework the django.net i know how to do that electron rest rest uh, let's 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 move on in testing i actually know selenium um mocha jasmine karma um, let's move on illustrator photoshop xt this is this, 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 this let's let's move on i know bit of postman but let's let's open it static site generators um let's let's move on game engines i know a bit of unity uh, uh, for the creation of games and a bit of unreal as well but let's uh, let's, let's not do it right now other i do know linux as an operating system git is my bread and butter i do not know i don't know okay let's move on to the social uh, let's write logic ops lab over here that's my social twitter username is logic ops lab again i'll just copy it and then code when this this this, this is fine this is fine linkedin username is ravi shravat this is the one so i think this should work okay i am not on kaggle instagram username is again logic ops lab facebook again is logic ops lab youtube channel name is again logic ops lab hacker Inc. i do not do a lot of coding right now 
this is also logic of slab and yeah that would be all now these are the add-ons um, for your display visitor count badge so let's let's have that github display trophy i don't want that display github profile stats card i do not I, I think I can do that. Okay, let's select random. And if you want to have uh, everything else, that's totally your choice. You can do that. Okay, let's click on generate the readme. Okay, so we have got a lot of code over here. You can see right now. And uh, if you even if you do not understand it, that's perfectly fine. You can all just do that. You can just copy it, go back to your this, and you can just control A, control V. That's all okay that's all you can do once you click on preview it'll load the preview and this says hi i'm logic ops lab by ravish reducing user stress is a pleasure and my most excellent expertise and you can see your profile looks a lot fancy over here all right so if you want to see this will load uh, in a minute now uh, that's all you have to do you just commit changes over here update with me file you can just click on that once done I'll go back over here. I'll just quickly refresh it and you will see the magic. Now you can see the profile looks. Hi, I'm Logic Ops Lab and see how cool it looks. Okay, this will buffer in a while. I've not done much of it. So yeah, it'll do. Okay, so that part is completed. Now, if you want to add a banner of it, uh, you, you can do that as well. So I just refreshed it and you can see the count has been increased so if i just refresh it every time it will keep on increasing and you can see this is something that i know so uh, this is most used languages this is going through my repositories that i have created and has given me the chart for it so i have used 57 percent of python over here hcl java shell batch file docker file in the repository and logic of slab by github stats total stars are 92 total commits 29 prs and stuff so this looks really cool and it will give you a grade as well all right total contribution 2204 uh, um, this is current streak uh, three longest streak and it will calculate on the basis of that all right so this looks cool right okay so let me add a banner to it so uh, if you have heard about this website known as imgur so i have posted my uh, pick over there and this is the banner that I have. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this. I'll go back over here. I'll click on that. And where do I want to use it? So let's say if I want to use it at the top. So I am currently working in DevOps, uh, DevOps and Cloud Consultant. I'll go over here. I'll paste it over here. Okay. Let's see how it works. Oh, before that, you can even preview that. And you can see this has appeared over here. So you can change it accordingly. But in order to show you i'll just commit the change i'll go back over here i'll refresh it and you can see i've got this all right so i can reduce the size from here um, from from somewhere else but this is how you add the banner to it okay there are multiple things that you can add there are multiple pictures that you can add uh, you can add something to the right side of it uh, if you know a bit of css and html that would be great and then you can use that all right Okay, so I have made a bit of change in the code and then if I'll refresh it, you can see the size has been reduced from here. Now this looks perfect. Okay, so this looks cool. So now if you click on any of this connect with me, it will redirect you to the proper link. So if you're not following me on, on Twitter, please do that. Okay, go back and then if you click on LinkedIn, you can see that it has redirected to LinkedIn. So if you want, you can connect me from over LinkedIn as well. And then if you click on Facebook, then it'll take you to Facebook. If you want to go to Instagram, it'll take you inst to Instagram as well. Okay, so here's my Logic Ops Lab page. And you can just scroll it. And if you follow it, because I do post a lot of stuff over here, you can do that. And then similarly to your uh, Medium, uh, similarly to your Instagram and similarly to your YouTube. Okay, so these are the clickable links over here. Alright, so uh, I hope you have understood everything. Uh, if there is anything, feel free to comment below. I have uh, placed uh, this link under the description section uh, in the video. And also, if you need any help from me, if you need anything, feel free to comment down below. Alright, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video so that it can reach out and reach out to a lot of people and share it with their friends so they can also improve their profile and make a kick-ass GitHub profile. Alright. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.